Hi, welcome to my channel, Math Made Easy with Laurel. I'm Laurel, and in this video, we're going to talk about Ohm's Law and the Power Law. The study of electricity, Ohm's Law and the Power Law are very important. And if you were to look up those laws on the internet, you might encounter a diagram similar to this one. This visual talks about all of the variables used in those two laws and how they relate to each other in the form of 12 different formulas. If you find this drawing or this visual intimidating and overwhelming, you're not alone. I'm gonna talk about the power law and Ohm's law without using this. Instead, what I'm gonna do is talk about what the laws are and an easy way to remember each of the two laws and then an easy way to find one of the variables in each law when you know the other two variables. Let's start with Ohm's law, very important formula in electricity. E is equal to I times R. E represents voltage, I represents current, R represents resistance. E represents voltage measured in volts and the symbol for volts is capital V. I is the current in amperes, the symbol for amperes is capital A, and R is the resistance measured in ohms, and the symbol for ohms is a Greek symbol, the capital symbol for omega. You might see the letter V used instead of E, because some formulas they use V for voltage. E is used because it's also called electromotive force, so that's where the E came from. I really am not sure where the I came from. But what's important to understand is, is that voltage is the product of current and resistance. So let's take a look at how we can remember that formula easily and how we can solve for one of these three variables if we know the other two. You may see this relationship as a triangle or as a circle, it doesn't really matter. And you're gonna see E in the top or V if people are using voltage. So voltage, current, and resistance. And this triangle will help you remember the relationship between the three variables. So we know that E is equal to I times R. So if we take a look at that and cover up the variable we're isolating, I beside R means multiplication. Then if we wanted to know what I is equal to, we'll cover that up. And I will be equal to E divided by R. Similarly, if we want to know what resistance is equal to, we can cover that up. R will be equal to voltage divided by current, E divided by I. So there's really three formulas inside Ohm's Law. One thing that you can do to help you remember that triangle is make up a saying. I'm going to make up the saying, Earth is round. Earth is round. Just remember that in your triangle, you're only going to have one variable at the top and two variables at the bottom. So that might help you remember this. And then you can use it to find any one of those variables when you know the other two. For example, if we know a circuit has a flow of 12 amperes, so we know that the current is 12, when the voltage is 120 volts, find the resistance. If we're going to be finding the resistance, Remember, R is equal to E divided by I. So that's the formula I'm going to use. I plug in the values that I know. I know that the voltage, which is E, is 120. I know the current is 12. So resistance will be 120 divided by 12, which is 10. And resistance is measured in ohms. Another formula you're going to see in electricity is the power law. And the power law states that the power, which is measured in watts, symbol for watts is capital W, is equal to the voltage times current. And we can remember that relationship with another triangle. Power is equal to 
E times I. What you might want to do to remember this triangle is think of the word pi. This formula and this formula are the same. Typically you will see it written like this, but I can change the order of the variables when you're multiplying and it's still equivalent. Knowing this triangle, we've got three formulas contained in it. Power, let me cover that up, is equal to E times I, which we already know. If I want to isolate voltage, the E, it's going to be equal to P over I. And if I want to isolate current, I will be equal to P over E. So there's your three formulas contained in the power law. Let's take a look at an example. If a 16 volt electric system takes 10 amps of current, how much power is used? So in this case, we want to know power. So we're just going to use this formula. We know voltage and we know current. So P is equal to E times I. Plug in our values for voltage and current. And that gives us our power in watts. Sometimes you're going to need to use the power law and Ohm's law in combination. So let's take a look at some examples doing that. In this next example, it says, what is the power of a circuit using 20 amps when the resistance is 15 ohms? We're trying to find power, but in order to find power, I need voltage and current. I don't have voltage, so I need to use Ohm's law, and I use the resistance and current to find voltage first. So I know that E is equal to I times R. So I'm finding E, current is 20, Resistance is 15, so E is equal to 300 volts. Now that I know voltage, I can find power. Power is equal to E times I, so we're finding power. Voltage is 300. Current is 20, so power will be 6,000 watts. When your numbers get larger, you can change from watts to kilowatts, understanding that a thousand watts is equal to one kilowatt. A kilo anything is a thousand anything. So in order to change this to kilowatts, we would simply divide by a thousand. Six kilowatts is equivalent to 6,000 watts. Let's do a few more examples. Our next example says the resistance is 15 ohms when using 120 volts. How many watts are being used? If we're asked for watts, we're asked for power. Power is equal to voltage times current. I don't know current. I know resistance and voltage. So I'm going to use those two pieces of information and Ohm's law to find current. Once I have current, then I can find power. So current, I, will be equal to E divided by R. So current will be equal to 120 volts divided by 15 ohms, which is 8. So current is 8 amps. Now I can use that information and the voltage to find power. So power equal E times I. Voltage is 120. Current is 8. So power would be 960 watts. In our last example, we're asked to find resistance when we know power, 40 watts, and we know voltage, 120 volts. So we don't have a relationship directly between those three things, but we use the formula where we know two values. We know P and we know E. So therefore, we're going to use the power law to find current. So we're going to start there, and I will be equal to P divided by E. So I will equal power, which is 40 watts, divided by voltage, which is 120 volts, 
And I'm, instead of writing that as a decimal, I'm just going to write that as a fraction. Now I can find resistance because I know two things in Ohm's law. Now I know voltage and I know current, so now I can find resistance. Resistance will be equal to E divided by I. So resistance will be equal to 120 volts divided by one third of an amp. And when we take 120 and divide by one third, we will get 360 ohms. So when you're using these two formulas, start with the formula where you know two of the values so you can find the third value. Then when you found that value, you can use the other equation. You may see a circle with 12 different formulas. And if you find that useful and you want to learn that or use that, that's fine. But all of the questions you can do using that circle, you can do with just these two triangles. It's a matter of personal preference.